Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Fun Math Number 81. Fun Math Number 81. Today we're in Section 1.4 of Art of Problem Solving's Algebra Book. And we're learning about the... Distributive property. Okay, we're learning about the distributive property. That means when you have a simple arithmetic expression with something times something else in parentheses. And there are now two ways we can evaluate this. What is the first way we could evaluate this? By way, inside the parentheses. Do, what, do the order of operations way. Okay. Order of operations says do what's inside the parentheses first. Go ahead. Which is 8 minus 3. That's just 5. Three okay, so times. write it as 3 times 5, please. Okay, so it's, this is the same as inside the parentheses, 6 plus 2, which is 8, minus 3, which is 5. So this is the same as 3 times 5, which is otherwise known as 15. 15. Okay, but we can also distribute the 3 in the inside the parentheses, and we get, when we get what? We get, we get 3 times, well, we get 3 times 6. Right, 3 times 6. Plus 3 times 2. Three times minus three. Okay, so the three hits everything in the parentheses. Three times six. Can I see this pen for that? Three times six, three times two, and three times minus three. And what is three times six? It's eighteen. Eighteen. What is three times two? Three times two is six. Yes, okay, so we get eighteen plus six. And what is three times minus three? It's minus nine. So we get eighteen plus six minus nine, and that is otherwise known as. Well, it's 24 minus 9, which is 15. Okay. All right, very good. So that shows the distributive property in action. And there's one other thing we can do with the distributive property. The opposite of the distributive property is called factoring. So it's important to understand how to do factoring. And so when we have an expression, uh, let's say it's 24 plus 40. 24 plus 40, whole thing divided by 8, and we want to simplify this. We can first factor an 8 out of the top of each of, each of those expressions, and what do we get on the top? We get 8 times 3 plus 5 over 8, and then the 8's cancel. Okay, and the 8's cancel, and we're just left with 3 plus 5, which is? Which is 8. 8. Okay. So I can factor an 8 out of the top, so I get 8 times the quantity, this is 8 times 3, this is 8 times 5, so I get 8 times the quantity, 3 plus 5, divided by 8. The 8's cancel, and I'm left with a 8. Bah! Okay, and the other way to do this would just be add up on the top first, and what do you get when you do 24 plus 40? You get 64. And what is 64 divided by 8? 8. 8. So you can see the two, two ways of approaching that problem produce the same answer which is good news because if they didn't that would be bad that would be bad all right low 5 good job